Washington. Now to severe heat and drought that so many of us are dealing with right now. At least 11 heat-related deaths in Oklahoma. At least 12% of the country is experiencing extreme drought conditions. Crops are dying. Lakes are drying up. And that leads me to this. Have you seen this today? This thing here this is a piece of the space shuttle columbia it turned up in a lake in nagadocious texas after waters dried up and receded you remember debris from columbia just fell all around that area after the shuttle broke up uh, upon re-entry back in february of 2003. now nasa is working on a plan to recover this piece of the shuttle, which is uh, a tank that provided power and water for shuttle missions. Uh, Chad Myers, you have more perhaps on what could be found or on this piece of debris? That was a cryo tank. It was, it's about four feet around. It didn't oh, look it's that, that large? It's four feet in diameter. It, yeah, it's, it's very large. And wow. it, was, it was holding either the cryo hydrogen or cryo oxygen to come together to make a fuel cell to make power for the shuttle and then all that other stuff that all those amazing parts, mm. the millions of parts that the shuttle had, right? But let me show you, I have, a, I have a picture here from NASA okay. about the parts that they actually found of the shuttle, Columbia, when it went down. Here's the outline of the shuttle back to there, back to there, and like that, kind of there, right there. But they didn't find very much of this shuttle, so there's still an awful lot on the ground in Texas. Most of it came down, much of it burned up, but there were parts. This should be a complete shuttle. There are a few pieces here that NASA still had to put back, but there are five small, small little pieces. There's the front nose gear right there. You can see that. Mm. And this is in a hangar in uh, NASA. This is in the Kennedy Space Center. And here's what happened this spring. It dried up. The entire state of Texas literally dried up. Right over there, Nacogdoches, um, there was a lake just on the west side of the town. And parts of the shuttle fell into this lake. And especially on the north side of the lake, now that the water is down, people are finding things. Do not touch something that you find. It's against the law. It's a piece of property of the United States. Call the authorities. They'll come get it. Don't go get it and bring it to the cops. You're still in trouble for touching it at all. It's part of the U.S. government. It's just amazing that pieces of debris, just because of this drought, you can actually, you know, yeah. they're being recovered out of uh, lakes like that in Nagadocious. Let me point out something else. Uh, there is another way, I guess, the drought is affecting people here in Texas. Let me look at the video here. This uh, is Johnny Finn's. It's supposed to be a floating restaurant. Yes. Hence the theme, lack of water. This mm -hmm. is uh, Lake Travis in Austin. Doesn't much look like a water or a lake to me. I mean, again, just another example. They've, I guess, had to, to shut down because the water levels are so low. Those boats aren't going anywhere. No, the, you can push this, this lake. And, and by the way, if you find my wallet that has my driver's license in it from 1993 in Lake Travis, <laughs> Get out of um, here. you can send it back to me. Uh, that <laughs> lake is 26 feet low right now. Wow. So they would take this, the restaurant and they'd keep pushing it out, keep pushing it out, but eventually they ran out of dock. I ran out of water. Have you been so to now, this restaurant? I, I have been to the restaurant. And I have been to Travis. Wallet. I have been to Hippie <laughs> Hollow. Don't look that up. That was in my I'll youth. be looking that up. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Chad. So much. Let All us know right. if you find Chad Meyer's wallet. Coming up next.